I can't carry more than one vase. I can't carry more than one vase. I can smell the jungle. If these statues could talk, what would they say about that Mel Gibson picture? Well, nothing I can see that would help the investigation. Hey, how'd it go? You talked to the boss? Yeah, but I didn't really find anything. Well, you know, we don't have everything on display. Sometimes we exchange items with other museums, you know. Oh yeah? Like down the road? In other states? Even other countries. We do a lot with South American museums and universities. In fact, I've just been packing a load of stuff for Bogota. Any knives or other kinds of weapons? Yeah, probably. It's part of the collection from upstairs in the main hall. Can I see them? Well, now I'm not sure I can... Let me talk to your boss. Give me his number. I'll call him. Uh, yeah, okay. His number is... Five, 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 three, six, two, six, nine, one. Hey, hey, you can't go in there without the okay from my boss. Unfortunately, he must have switched off his mobile. Huh, no reply. Well, I'm afraid my hands are tied. Uh, sorry, lady. Oh, that's a shame. If I don't solve this knife case thing, I'll be doing regular duties again. Probably chasing old drug busts with Nick Romsky. Uh, well, you know, if you just want to look around a bit... You know, I, I'm sure that'd be, you know... Oh, really? Thank you, sir. That'd be such a help. That's real sweet of you. I won't be long. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, through these doors here, just like... Don't touch anything, okay? It's almost pitch black down here. I'll ask the porter to turn on the lights. What's wrong with the light down there? I don't know. I'm a porter, not an electrician. So how am I supposed to see anything? Sometimes it works. You gotta jiggle it. One up, one down, or something like that. What a relic. It's older than the stuff on display. This is probably only one of the stops in the travels of Warren's historical treasures. Geez, this poster is almost a museum piece itself.
case looks tough, like it's for something expensive. Wow, this is a heavy one. Can't be empty. Flight case type of thing for carrying guns, optical instruments, electronic devices, etc. It's not even closed. Let's take a look. Ah, it's an x-ray scanner. Very useful. They showed us one in training. Portable x-ray scanner. There used to be a metal case here with an x-ray scanner in it. It's rather difficult to take something from nothing, isn't it? Some kind of folded up rubber, like an inner tube or an air bed or something. It might be useful, but damned if I can see for what. They don't fit together. I had no idea one vase could have so many, uh, pieces. A sealed crate, very heavy and very suspicious. This crate is so heavy, I need muscles on my muscles to shift it. No knives here. Guess this is a packing table. It's not this combination. No knives here. Fortunately, there's nothing on fire here, yet. I can see a narrow gap between the two crates. The perfect place to shove a folded up dinghy. Inflammable pressurized gas will inflate the dinghy. Well, these are in pairs, and look here, an empty space. Knife, like in our sketch.
what do you know? The case fits here perfectly, as if it was always here. Do you have an inventory for this stuff, or do I need to call the customs agents? Geez, I knew it would come to this. Here you go, here's the paperwork. Ha! You see? Right there. Two ritual knives. Where's the second? I'll have to talk to Warren about this. Sure. Whatever you like, I'll probably get fired from all this anyway. You leave everything in order down there? Just as you left it. You can trust a Fed, right? such an idyllic place could be a crime scene. Evening, officer. I'm Agent Bonnet, FBI. Jeff McGregor, NYPD. Guess you got the short straw, huh? Yeah. The investigator's already been? Yes, ma'am. Did their thing and took the body downtown. And you're... I'm waiting till the guy with the keys comes and locks up the building. How is it inside? It's a rich man's place. Pretty tidy, though. No sign of a struggle anywhere. And the victim? Killer gutted this guy like a fish, right there on the pool table. Put his heart in the corner pocket. I've seen a lot, but uh, I almost blew chunks at that. Vic must have been knocked out before the gory stuff happened, hmm? Guess so. Uh, CSI guys were talking about an injury at the base of the skull, but beyond that, I have no idea. Hmm. Well, thanks, McGregor. Guess I'll go take a look for myself. Well, well. Officer McGregor again. A good cop and a world gone bad. 